Okay, guys, I'm going to make a short video here um, to do a reteach of how to take two digit by two digit numbers multiplication. Okay, so to start out, I'm going to make my problem. I have 23 times 46. Okay, and remember when we multiply, we always start on the ones side. So we're going to take three times six first. Three times six is 18. So I'm going to put my eight and carry my one on top. Okay, and then we're gonna multiply two times six. Two times six is 12, and don't forget to add your one in from the top. So two times six is 12, plus one is 13. So I write my 13 down here. And then we put a zero here to hold our place when we multiply the tens. I'm going to go ahead and erase my one from the top. Um, Okay, because we're done with that. And now we're going to multiply everything times the 4. So we're going to take 3 times 4 is 12. I put my 2 down here and carry my 1 up to the top again. 2 times 4 is next, which 2 times 4 is 8. And don't forget to add your 1 on. So 2 times 4 is 8 plus 1 is 9. Okay, and then our last step is to add these two numbers together. So 8 plus 0 is 8. 3 times or 3 plus 2 is 5 and 1 plus 9 is 10. So our answer would be 1058. Okay, and then I'm going to show you um, also how we could multiply this using the area model. So we're still going to be doing 23 times 46. Okay, but I am going to create a box. There's probably an easier way to do this. Um, for 23 times 46. So I'm gonna write that out here so I don't forget my problem, okay? And when we take 23 times 46, we're going to break them apart um, using the um, expanded form. So 23, if I break it apart, it is 20, oh my, plus three. And if I break 46 apart, it is 40, plus six, okay? And if you remember when we did the area model in class, you use this number and this number together in this box, so 20 times 40. So I'm gonna take two times four is eight, and zeros, there's two zeros, so I add two zeros to the end. So 20 times 40 is 800. And then for this box, I bring my three down and my 40 across, so I have 40 times three. 40 times three, I take my four times three, my basic fact, which is 12. And then I have one zero, so I need to add one zero to the end. So I have 120. Okay, in this box, we have our 20 coming down and our six coming across, so 20 times six. Two times six is our basic fact, which is 12. And we add one zero to the end. So 20 times six is 120. And then in this box, we're gonna bring the three down and the six over. So three times six is our problem, which is 18, okay? And then our final step is to add those four numbers together. So I'm gonna write these out to the side. Um, some of you like the first method that I showed better. Some of you liked the area model better. So I thought I would review both methods so you can decide which one you wanna use. You can use either one, um, both of them work. So you can choose. All right, so we're going to add over here. I have zero plus zero plus zero plus eight equals eight. And then I have zero plus two plus two plus one. Two plus two is four, four plus one is five. Okay, and then I have eight plus one plus one, which is 10. So I still got the same answer, 1,058, okay? So whenever you are doing your two digit by two digit multiplication, you can choose either um, the first method or you can use the area model method that I just showed you. Hope this helps as you are um, working on your two digit by two digit multiplication.